So this is our next video on IGCSE past paper question on light. Right? This is our question number 7. Let us understand the question. This is a long question. So we have split the question on two screens. Alright, so let us start with the first part of the question. The figure here shows a glass block A, B, C, D surrounded by air. So this is your glass material inside, outside you have your air. A rare array of light, a ray of red light, PQ is incident on the surface CD. PQ is incident on the surface CD of the block. On this figure, draw the normal at Q. Let us draw the normal at Q. Q is a point where the ray hits the boundary. Normal is a line which is always perpendicular perpendicular like this this is your normal this is your answer for the first part let's call it n now coming on to the second part draw the ray emerging from the surface a b of the block and the normal where the ray emerges it's a three mark question so be careful in showing all your rays at every step. The ray of light here, when we are solving the second part, let us complete the full path of this ray of light, which is PQ. So when this PQ enters the glass, where will it bend? Will it bend near the normal or away from the normal? Think about this question first. Your answer should be, it will bend towards the normal. Let me use blue color to depict the path of the light it will bend towards the normal why because the light is moving from a rarer medium to denser medium it will bend towards the normal if you see this angle is larger than this angle if this is your i1 r1 i1 is larger than r1 all right now the ray of light has hit the boundary AB. Where is the point of contact? This is the point of contact. And this is where you draw the normal, which the question is telling you to draw. The second part is telling you to draw the normal as well. Let us use the red color to draw the normal here. Your normal goes something like this. This is your second normal. And what happens to the ray of light when it emerges in the air? It is traveling from a denser to a rarer medium. It moves away from the normal this time. So let us bend it away from the normal. It will be bending something like this. All right. Now the last bit of things remaining are is to mark the arrows. Because this is light, it should have arrows. Right, and this is done. The second part is done. Draw the emerging line, emerging. Draw the ray emerging from the surface AB. You have drawn the emerging ray and the normal. You have drawn the normal as well, where the ray emerges, okay? Between the ray and the normal you have drawn, label the two equal angles. So between the ray and the normal you have drawn, label two equal angles so you can label two equal angles let us determine this is this green angle here is equal to this other green angle you can label them as the answer or what else could be your answer any two angle they are asking you about this angle will be equal to this angle that's also right they have to be equal because if the green ones are equal automatically the red ones are equal Similarly, you can also say about these other green angles, which I am drawing with, with a more solid green line. This is also a correct answer, right? Everything is a correct answer, every pair, right? So that's how this question is done. Let us move to the second part of this question. The angle of incidence of another red ray is 65 degrees. The refractive index of the glass of the block ABCD for the red light is Q. 
given to you. 1.62 is the refractive index. Calculate the angle of refraction in the glass for this ray. So we are talking about the angle of incidence, refractive index and the angle of refraction which is the formula which connects all three of them. It is sin i over sin r is equal to n. You know the value of i 65 degrees. You know the value of n which is this. Substitute the values. Take the inverse of the sign and you should be getting your final answer which should be 34 degrees. Precisely the same thing they have done here as well. So you'll have to work with the calculator here and the answer should be 34 degrees. Now the next question. Speed of the light in the air is given to you. Calculate the speed of the light of the red light in the class. Now what is the equation which connects the speed and the refractive index? It is the formula for the refractive index. Speed in the air divided by speed in glass. The refractive index for the glass will be speed of the light in air divided by the speed of the light in glass. So how much is the speed of the light in glass? It will be 3.0 times 10 to the power 8 divided by this whole thing divided by this refractive index value 1.62. If you will do this division you will get your answer. Let's see what is the answer. Are they also doing the same thing? Precisely the same thing. Answer is 1.9 times 10 to the power 8. 1.9 times 10 to the power 8. It is speed so the unit should be meters per second. Do not forget the unit. It is a good practice to always mention the units in your questions, in your answers. Now the last part. For the same angle of incidence, the angle of refraction of the red light in the glass is greater than the angle of refraction for the violet light. State the term which describes the separation of the red and the violet refracted ray in the glass. So this is dispersion. This is the principle on which the prism works. A ray of light which is incident on the prism, it ultimately disperses and it separates out. In the next video, we will be taking up more questions. So please stay tuned.